All my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to you at Homestead again. So glad you're with us. Thank you for taking the time, clicking on our videos, and joining us at our homestead and seeing what we're getting up to today. First thing I want to do this morning, get you out here, get you caught up on the new chicken netting and the new energizer. The chickens are out because chicken fence isn't doing chicken fence stuff. And keeping them in this morning let them out of the chicken coop they immediately ran right up to the fence and jumped right through the holes and nobody felt nothing so here's the thing i'm thinking i'm just way too much stuff touching it and it's grounding out and i might can pull this a little bit tighter so I'm going to redo this chicken fence today. I've got my energizer sitting in the sun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use this netting and I'm going to encircle all these trees. You see it's kind of open on the back side of those trees over there. I'm going to make this big circle go around all of these trees so they can actually be up in here, scratching around these trees and up in these bushes. And that'll help them to feel protected and stuff from the hawks and the animals and they're in the shade and and they could stay there. Those seven little chickens can stay in that area probably for a couple of weeks. I said we'd get more eventually, but hey, we got to get our systems in place first. We got to make sure this chicken tractor and this chicken fencing is working first. Okay, all right, let's go work on the boat, guys. So today I've decided we're going to take a little break. We've been doing a lot of work lately. Me and the kids, we want to get on the water. We want to go enjoy the river in the back. I'm going to ride my bike. Okay. We want to get on the water and we want to enjoy it. And I got this little John boat. And it's got a nice little motor on it. But we just never use it. The carburetor's probably clogged probably needs to be flushed the gas is getting pretty old so I'm gonna get some fresh gas hopefully we can just run fresh gas through it kind of blow out the carburetor and all the cobwebs and get it going again yeah we got to get this thing cleaned out we're getting quite the compost pile of leaves in it and uh, cobwebs all over it but yeah a little 15 horsepower Evan root she's a beast it probably will. Uh, I gotta get the gas hooked up to it. Um, but last time we rode it, wasn't we? We got before, a. Before. Uh, I think Raccoon did the, uh, the gas hose. Why is this thing so hot? Because when when stuff starts decomposing, it kind of starts to stink. Wow, this has a lot of pressure in it. Why does it have so much pressure? Because the gas that's in there has expanded when it gets hot, and it, we got to kind of tank level up. Hopefully, this isn't. Hopefully, this still works. I know this. Been coming off. Yeah. Well, the gas that just came out of there doesn't look terrible. But I know that's loose. We need to get you have to take this some kind out. of clamp on there and make that tight. It's probably why it was running funny. Because it's probably sucking air in. Alright, so let's get this thing pulled up to the front. Um, on the tire strut. No, I see right here, right now. There we go. Oh, yeah. uphill a little bit. wasn't too easy. Plus, his tires are still good. You guys hop up in there. The best thing to use is just your hands. Scoop those leaves up, 
scoop those leaves up and just toss them over here on the side. been old gas left over in the carburetor that actually just burnt so it just cranked up fired off the question is is this this gas line and that primer bulb is getting really old this fitting was coming off I had I cut the line so it could get some fresh line on it feels like it gripped a little better and I put a zip tie on there tight as I could feels good but if that primer bulb's collapsing, could it be blocking the flow of gas? The thing is, is the last time that this was run, Ken took it out, oh. and he said, "Stop, stop, stop! You don't want to do it. If it's, if it's, if it's primed and it's full, we don't need to keep pushing gas on it." Anyways, uh, Ken said the last time he took it out, it kept stalling on him, and he had to had to keep priming it and cranking it just to get back. I don't think he took the paddles with him. This well, the engine is great. I do want to get a new prop on the bottom because that one's been dinged up on some uh, some oyster shells or whatever. It was like that when I got it. It's got some nicks and dings in it. Um, I could just try to grind it out and smooth it out, but that makes a big difference. Maybe, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the tank. It just might be something wrong with this hose line. We're about to find out. We are almost. Need a few more inches of water in there. How do you? What'd you say, Jessica? Um, do you remember that one time you were going so fast, and then it was like this? Uh huh. And then remember, remember a couple times there were some big waves, and it was like. Yeah. Um, could I get my lifesaver? Um, lifesaver? Yeah, like. Candy. The thing, thing what goes over. Oh yes, your life vest. Y'all need to go find those. Yes. Why don't you go find those? Those up. Cause y'all can't, we can't ride in this without our life jackets. All right, and water's I, high enough. I'm gonna keep filling up, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get some more cranking on here. I don't know how to swim.
a year, year and a half sitting completely dormant. It needs a good sanding and a good paint job. I'm thinking about doing that and going like a classic, like boat white, you know, two part epoxy paint and just making it nice and smooth and pretty. I've got some seats for it. But that's going to require some metal work. Thought about putting those on today, but the kids now that it's running and they really want to just go get on the water. So we'll probably do that. I'll bring you with us. Hang on. Well, you know what we got to do now? We got to drag this thing down to the water. <laughs> Let, get your bed and sit on. Why don't we? Let's get some snacks. Let's get some lunch and everything before we go. We got it all cleaned up. We got good, fresh fuel in the tank and in the line. And running through the carburetor. She's purring like a kitten. Just got to get a new rope put on the front here because the old one got dry rotted and broke off. Fucking on the end. Probably. A little bit more line than what we actually need, but hey, it's a Harbor Freight special, you know what I'm saying? Plug. Every boater's nemesis. The plug. Engaged. Alright, just gotta get this here. Trash can full of water. One last thing before we go. Paddles. Just in case. There we go. There's the boat, there's the river, we're heading out, let's go, we're ready, get your brother, need some help. The sun is up, it's a beautiful day, my beginning will be as bright as the sun, come won't you come along, and it feels so bright, it's like luck is raining on me. And follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go There is so much love to give Something's telling me it's right When you came to me, oh I knew It's you, yeah, boy The one who showed me now Thank God it ain't a single ounce heavier than what it is. That's manageable, but any more, any heavier, I don't know if I could do it. You stepped on it. You walked on it. Come on. What we gotta do? Back over? No. Okay. Well, we're back. <laughs> A lot sooner than we had planned. 
So the engine, the motor is running great. I think we're having a problem in our prop shaft splines of the gears that spin it. Every time we try to plane up, we start cavitating. Maybe we've hit bottom one too many times and just worn it out. So we limped it back home. I mean, wasn't really limping either. We were still going at a decent little pace. But if you, we weren't, we weren't getting up. You can't get on your horse and ride. It goes, and then when you try to get up on plane, you can hear the, you can hear the prop cavitating and you just don't go anywhere so that's not good hopefully it's just the splines and the prop starting to wear down and it's not the shaft spinning around the prop without it gripping and ripping so it's in gear i mean i can turn the hole what what no oh that's a buzzer guys that's not an eagle. <laughs> I mean, it pull, it turns the whole engine over. <laughs> okay, I just got spit in the face by an engine. Never had that happen before. Guys, if anybody has any any help, any comments, any experience, let me know. I am not an outboard engine motor at all. I did change the impeller myself. I want to be an engineer when I grow up. So he does. He wants to be an engineer. He wants to build motors and work on cars and design stuff when he grows up. But he's not there yet. I and I need it like now. I want to be a vet. You want to be a what? A vet. You love animals? Yeah. And that's why you love your brother so much because he's an animal. All right, so we're going to wrap it up right there today, you guys. Just enjoy the rest of this day, what we got left of it. We were going to plan on taking this to the park tomorrow. Because you can get to the park by bicycle or boat. Doesn't look like it now. Going to let you go here. We love you. We appreciate you so much. I'm dead serious. I'm not joking when I say that. I really do. Appreciate you. Thank you for helping us grow our channel. We love you. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. And we're going to see you soon, real soon. Okay? God bless you. Bye-bye.